The conversation, pandemics change everything, including the way we design buildings. After the 1918 Spanish flu and the scourge of tuberculosis, there was a push for healthier buildings, full of light and air, as the Swiss architect Le Corbusier put it. This translated into the clean lines and white surfaces of what came to be known as the international style of architecture. The hygienic qualities of these modernist buildings were generally more aesthetic than real, but designs such as Alvar Aalto's competition-winning Paimio Sanatorium did provide the abundance of light and air recommended by Le Corbusier. The COVID-19 crisis is likely to change building design again. Its health effects have not only been physical but also psychological. Our early ancestors evolved mostly outside in constantly changing natural environments. Yet the indoor spaces where we now spend much of our lives separate us from that world. One of the lessons of the current lockdowns is that we may need to change that. Walks in the park, hikes in the forest and strolls along the beach are known to relieve stress. Spending time in nature also improves our ability to focus, and there's even evidence that it helps us to heal physically as well. For most of us, the recent lockdowns have led to an unprecedented shrinking of our worlds. Even under normal circumstances, however, our ability to spend time outdoors is often limited by work, family responsibilities or a simple lack of mobility. People in the United States, for example, already spent almost 90% of their time indoors long before the current crisis. Interior plants can help, as can pets. But neither of these seems to have quite the same restorative effects as contact with wild nature, which alone has the capacity to evoke the sublime, a sense of being in the presence of something much larger than ourselves. Wherever you happen to live, though, the Earth's largest wilderness, its atmosphere, is only the thickness of a pane of glass away. And although buildings are typically designed to keep the weather out, there are powerful reasons to welcome its movement into our homes, the most important being that it seems to have a unique capacity to calm us. Moving light patterns reflected from a wind-disturbed water surface, of the kind we typically see under boats and bridges, for example, have been shown to have a significant calming effect on heart rate, and can also help to keep us alert. More recent work has suggested that this kind of familiar natural movement makes us feel connected to the present moment, in a way that mimics meditative practices such as mindfulness, but without requiring our active attention. As someone who teaches and writes about architecture, I've spent the last two decades looking at how nature can be more effectively brought into our buildings, beyond just buying fish tanks and potted plants. A number of buildings already successfully bring the movements of the weather indoors.